What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony. This is Death Road to Canada. We're gonna start a new game. We got a leader named Ernie, who is a big bruiser and a city seeker. That's good. I like city seekers. They're gonna help us get some more achievements. And Andre, a charming mechanic, is good enough for me. We're playing rare characters mode. Let's get started. That's some low morale. I think it's going to go up in a second. Uh, bandit characters can rob many traders and other people. This can backfire depending on who's robbed. Uh, hit the road. Okay. Morale is fine. Quiet hotel, quiet factory, house on the road. Let's just go to the house on the road. I really don't know the difference between these three in what we can get. You're a big bruiser, so you've got boxing. Okay. Do we need a flashlight? The answer is most likely no. The answer is definitely no, but it shouldn't hinder us. We still have four inventory spots we can fill up. Okay, we're at least semi-strong. Do we know our strength? Ew. Yeah, get out of here. I was going to pick that up. I guess I failed to do so. You know, despite losing that last run, I actually... You know, I'm, I'm not mad about it. I, I feel like I did my best. I tried my hardest. There were things that could have gone better. There are things I could have done better in retrospect. But I think I did well. And, uh, you know, there were no achievements on the line. We got plenty of ZP. If we get one more ZP, we uh, can unlock the next thing. I mean, we don't explicitly need to get to 30. We could, there's plenty of stuff we could unlock for cheaper, but we want to get to 30. One more. So that's like our first siege, our first ally death, or the first time we sell something to a weapons barterer. Is that everything that's going to be here? Because that's kind of not a lot of loot. Let's see that door that door that door that's all the doors all right let's go 11 food that's a lot more than i realized we picked up so definitely more than en enough that was a, a good encounter we're haggling this down to five food bing bang boom attitude is bad for ernie but andre got morale so we're actually we're still better off than we were you can slow zombies down by dropping furniture in front of them. Cool. Fear the night. Apartment with help banner. Good enough place to go. Uh, it is going to be dark. Because that's what the thing was called. We got to go to these, like, basically in the order we find them, just so we don't waste too much time. Big bruisers can use guns, correct? They're not like martial artists. Yeah. Nice. I wonder how close we are to our next genie. My guess is we're at like 12. Maybe anywhere from 10 to 15. So not close at all. But if we get ZP real fast, oh boy. Oh boy. We can uh, get a genie every 50 instead of every 100. We're going to need quite a lot more ZP before that actually happens. Got some good farming techniques. Um, start a Kappa mode run. And kill everyone immediately. That's three. Just die in the first encounter. Three ZP right there. Worth it? Maybe. Probably not. I don't think we're that desperate. Oh, why did I do that? Why didn't I just punch it? Okay. Well, at least there's a way up from here. So now we can see this whole second block. Oh, look at that. We do want to recruit the other person. ASAP as well. That way. We have a third person to fight at the end, though it's not like an extreme mode or anything. 
So it should be pretty easy. Regardless of the darkness surrounding us. Oh, I meant to pick up that chair. Okay. Help me. Can do. And it's the last building as well. I'm hoping for some food. Uh, I think if they have a good reward, we won't recruit them. Another 11 food. That's pretty incredible. Um, if they have, if they don't have any decent rewards, we'll we'll uh, recruit them. If they do have a decent reward, we'll do that instead. It doesn't even have to be that good. It just needs to be decent because we need to keep room for rare characters. Like having the third character, beneficial. Having to kick someone out, you know, always kind of sucks a little bit. All right. Oh, no, I already went that way, but I didn't go this way. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. More bullets, getting a good amount of ammo. We have guns to use it with too. Anything else? Nope. There's definitely a couple rooms up here. Yeah. Cool. Kitchen? Nice. That's gonna be at least two food, right? It could be a medical supply. So we did get exactly two food. Good call, me. I was thinking at least one food in the fridge and the one on the ground. But then I realized that the fridge might contain a medical supply instead of food. I was really hoping it would have like two food. Plus, we probably need medical supplies. No, we got six. We're good. Uh, not this way. The eerie nighttime music can't scare me. It can't. Just not right now, because we're already gone. Perfect. 14 food. 41 gas. 5 medical supplies. That was incredible. Lana is a really bad medic, mechanic, shooter, and, you know, cardio cardiologist. She's probably a bad cardiologist based on her medical, but also she's not good at fitness. Her strength is okay. We're going to get group strength training. Look at that. Two good uh, reward options and a bad recruitment. What are you going to do with that? One of the good reward options. Um, you're a charming mechanic. Car's not in that bad of shape. So we're just gonna walk away? Because we don't know you're mechanical. We just know that you are a mechanic. That doesn't mean you're good at it. Drive away. We'll take the 47 gas and leave. Try to conserve your ammo, attack only when you have to. Those aren't necessarily related to each other. Andre, you're the one doing this? You can succeed. Your morale didn't need boosting. That is fine. If we could get solar panels and a couple batteries, it could come in handy. Let's keep our eyes out then. I can see something like that being useful. I bet that would have increased Sandry's morale as well. Um, a gator. You can wrestle it, tire it out, or shoot it. We're not abandoning the keys. That's just not even a real option. We could probably wrestle it successfully. Strength increased and revealed and successful. Strength is really good. It started at neutral and we've trained it twice already within the first 10 minutes of the run. That's really good. <laughs> if 24 food left, good. Probably can buy something. Maybe even recruit a rare character if we're lucky. Who is this? Try burning everything. This person is covered head to toe in fireproof gear. This would usually be more suspicious, but you're used to this sort of thing. Hi, did you know the zombies are highly flammable? Leave for now. But we're going to talk to everyone and then probably recruit that individual. Wait, how much did it cost? Recruit for 10 food. Yeah, we'll probably recruit them. I don't really think we need ammo, so no thanks. 
When did we hit 30? Well then, uh, maybe for the rescue? My weapons are so quiet, they'll attract much less zombies per shot. Not really an issue. By the time I'm shooting, they're all around us. Who are you? Secret tip, shopping carts are the ultimate weapon. It's not really a secret, I'm error. All right, we're gonna recruit this individual. Though I do not believe, oh God, they're, they're terrible. Um, I do not believe they actually have an achievement associated with them, and that's kind of what we're going for right now. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And let's get into here and unlock something. More rare traders or max ZP increase. If we get the max ZP increase, we don't have to do this as often. Or, if we get more rare traders 3, One out, one out of 21. I'm passing out lots of flyers. I drew them with colored pencils that will bring the best, bring the best traders in. Rare traders chains will increase to one out of 21. Yeah, I'm down. The only reason we're doing this is to, ooh, rare finder ultimate is to, you know, get to the point where we can get the genie every 50 toilets. So we have to get everything at some point. Rare finder ultimate. I'm selling deluxe tour guides now. There are the old ones, but I put stickers on them. Chance of rare locations will slightly increase. You may also find one extra rare location in a game. 50. We can only have 30, so the next thing we're buying is definitely that upgrade to the max. Continue. Speaking of getting achievements, I'm starting to think, oh, Giant monster city, a giant prehistoric monster is destroying the city. It's stopping around and obliterating buildings. Who knows how many cans of food it's crushing. You're the only one who could stop it. Somewhat big, super annoyed. It's monster time. Save the city. The monster drives a few feet, or the group drives a few feet and almost runs over the monster. It turned out to be someone in a monster suit stepping on a small cardboard city. Sorry, I'm stuck in this suit. She climbs into the car. Kaiju joins the team. Onward to Canada. Of course, we knew that was going to happen. And I love Kaiju. What a good character. Gas is the most precious resource because flamethrowers use gas. Stuck in a ditch. Shouldn't be too bad. It's early. It's not late. Probably gonna be late time-wise. Word. Do you know what you need? You need a hockey stick. I was gonna give you the frying pan, but I decided against it. You get a hockey stick instead. I'm going to control you, because you seem dangerous. Would have been nice if he came with the fire poker, but I mean, I'm not going to complain about the axe, blowtorch, and the free Molotov, which I'm putting away. Okay. Get going. His strength isn't really good, nor is his fitness. Let's get out of that crevasse in which we resided momentarily and dangerously. Um, anyways, in regards to achievements, we haven't been getting a lot lately. And since that's right now the primary focus of the series as a whole, I'm thinking if that progress is being slowed, maybe... So, I, I mean, this is backwards logic, and I understand that. But maybe so should the series be? Um, very much upward inflecting at the end of that sentence, because it is a question. I am considering the possibility of downgrading Let's Play Death Road to Canada from its daily status to a less daily status. Shooting? Morale and random skill gain, plus two medical. We're doing morale and random skill gain. Um, fitness, fitness, strength, mechanical. Uh, fitness, fitness, strength is great, especially for Lucian with his fire axe. It's gonna be fantastic. Mechanical, I don't really care either way. And we got a ZP. I don't know why we have two now. I don't know where these are coming from. I have forgotten 
all the different things that give us ZP, but I'm fine with having two. Um, all right, so Lucian really likes gasoline, right? His morale goes down, but we got 52 gas, so whatever. He's probably also tired, I think that said. The suit protects me from fire and also super spicy hot sauce. That's potentially good to know. We are going to probably search for ammo. I think that's a better choice right now since we are low on it. Yeah, we have no rifle ammo whatsoever. So we'll probably get like 12 bullets, right? Oh no, we got a lot. That's, I'm glad we did that. Cool. So I'm thinking of shuffling the entire schedule around a bit. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We got a junkyard with a car, an apartment row. Or we can drive around more for 25 guests. We're gonna junk we're gonna go to the junkyard with car. Because our car is in poor condition. If you keep picking up crappy weapons, I'm going to keep taking them away from you. Though I'm going to give that to Kaiju. Okay, gasoline. We're gonna be rolling in gasoline by the time we're done here. What's the, where's the car? It's probably just further ahead. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking of putting Death Road, I haven't really worked this out, but Death Road would be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, great, perfect, something to throw. Optimism. Um. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then West of Loathing would be Tuesday, Thursday, and Rides to Ruins would go daily. Cuphead will start up soon, probably not this Saturday, but next, if I get a chance to do that recording. Uh, that relies on Xarn uh, wanting to record when, when she gets home or over the weekend and us not being busy over the weekend or when she gets home. And then Mad Max on Sundays. So Rise to Ruins daily, mostly because I have a huge backlog of that and really want to play more of it but don't want to record too much of it ahead of time. I don't want... my. My backlog already goes into like December, so that's not good. Um, I just really enjoy that game and I want to play more of it. And with Death Road kind of slowing down, it, I'm still really enjoying the game, don't get me wrong, but it is starting to feel like we're not making progress. So if we're not going to be making progress, but we are still having fun, maybe just downgrade it a bit. Um, we'll see how that goes. Well, I mean, I'm not going to do it yet, but. If you have an opinion on that, let me know in the comments for sure. And don't forget that if there's ever a game you want me to play, you can request it. Uh, I'm thinking about, I'm trying to introduce more live streaming into the mix. We got the car keys. I still don't even know what the car is. It is this one, eh, whatever. We're gonna take it because that's why we're here. It's not great though. Um. If I have the game, or if I can get a copy, or if you want to give me a copy to play, I can do that um, on the live stream potentially, like more of a variety stream rather than an ongoing series, or just anything along those lines. And I'm, all, I'm always open to suggestions, and you can put those in any com any video, in a comment on any video, or tweet me, or I think I have an email address on my YouTube account. Just I look at that all the time, so. That's all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next episode.